Our top story, crews keep cleaning up today after a fuel spill into the Elizabeth River. 10 on your side showed you these photos last night. It happened in Lambert's Point near ODU. The Coast Guard says fuel overflowed from the tanks to the deck of the ship, then from the deck into the water. 10 on your side's Liz Palka got an up-close look at the cleanup. And Liz, what were you seeing today? Well, Lex, it's still active around Pier 6 where the fuel spilled. Not only are the cleanup crews still laying out boom to absorb and contain oil, but there's still boaters active in that area. So we had a lot of questions for the Coast Guard about who will be affected. An oil spill response boat spreads out containment boom around the Austria S. The Greek bulk carrier is docked at the Norfolk Southern Coal Terminal Pier 6 at Lambert's Point, and it will be here until the fuel that spilled from the ship is cleaned up. The Coast Guard is monitoring the cleanup and investigating what went wrong. At this point in time, it's a little bit too early to tell as far as what's going to happen since we don't know if there was someone at fault or exactly what happened that caused it. So that's, that's something that Coast Guard will be looking at. Chief Petty Officer Brandon Hill says a fuel spill happened around 3.20 Friday. The Austria S crew was refueling when the tanks overflowed and onto the deck of the ship. This picture, sent to 10 on your side, shows the oil leaking from the deck. Another shows the oil slick in the Elizabeth River. Fuel was, is in a, a very confined area and it's not affecting the boating traffic in the area. The ship hired a third-party company to clean up the spill. There's 4,000 feet of containment boom around the bulk carrier. That's keeping the fuel in one area, so boaters and fishermen aren't affected. To soak up the oil, Hill says the cleanup crew is putting absorbent pads on top of the water. They place these pads down, and it absorbs the product, and they can pull those out, and that can actually remove some of the fuel or oil that's in the water. Hill says it's a process that's expected to take a few days. And they are working you know, day and night to ensure this is done properly. Cleanup crews are starting every morning around 6. However, Chief Hill said the oil spill response team is at the ship all day and night monitoring the spill and cleaning up as fast as possible. It's not yet known how much fuel was leaked into the water. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.